Hi guys, and here we are with World of Warships with Elnio Chain. Now today, I'm going to take a little look for anyone who's just started the game. We're going to look at the Tier 1 American cruiser, the Erie. As you can see there, this ship was... It's a 1930s ship, and was used up until... 1942, early 1940s. Um, in 1942, the USS Erie was torpedoed by a German submarine, and all attempts to repair it were unsuccessful. So, it served a reasonable life from 1930 to 1942, 12 years. It's certainly more seaworthy, notable life than some ships had. But anyway, we're not here to really go to the history game ship here. We're here to see how you can play this game, where you'll start and how you go. So you'll start off with two ships. You'll start off with the Erie, the American line, and the Katori, the Japanese line. Keep checking your modules here. And there aren't really many module upgrades for a tier one ship, but your basic modules there. You can then upgrade the hull which gives you a bit extra health and you can upgrade the guns which gives you a little bit more damage but does drastically reduce your rate of fire and lowers your turn time so I'm actually using the initial gun modification here and that's it that's the only upgrade you can get and the modifications you can fit reduce the chance of your main guns being damaged or destroyed Increase the ability of your anti aircraft guns. Well, yeah, you, you've you've got four of these, so your anti aircraft capabilities aren't overly good. But you're in a tier one, you're probably not going to be coming up against huge amounts of aircraft enemy. The artillery on the Erie main battery has no secondary battery weapons. Has four 27 millimeter cannons, which can fire out to a range of 9.6 kilometers. Which, when you're in tier one, uh, what are you going to do? It's tier one. Now, when you start the battle, start the game, even, you will be stuck using co-op battles to begin with, because you don't look around the battles until you reach a higher level here. It. Level 1, when you first start the game, you have co op battles only. At level 2, you unlock random battles. And then other unlocks as you go up. So, level 7 at the moment, that's as far as they've gone. So, let's give it a run out in a co op battle. Okay, so here we are in a co op battle on islands. This is a domination match, which means you gain points for capturing and controlling any of these three bases. As you can see here, you gain points for destroying enemies. You lose points for allies that are destroyed. No, God. You'll notice also in co that the enemy team consists of bombs which match identically to whatever ships you have fielded. So we have three tier 3s, a South Carolina, St. Louis and Wataki, a Chester, three Aries and a Katuri. Sorry, Wakataki, I'm just on side. I I may be right, I may be wrong, it's a Japanese name. But unlike some games, the bots in World of Warships aren't... They are by no means easy to beat. They will cap, they will focus fire on limited targets. They're actually... The Wargaming have done a good job programming the bots in this game. Just waiting for it to load in. This is the first match I've played today, so it does take a little while at the moment with the way the game was to load into the first map. So here we go. There's the ship. Oh. Now, I'm going to steam straight towards B here. I can't have to to the enemy battleship. We have two choices of ammo. 
with ship. She got high explosive, which does damage to one droids. And damage to the lesser creatures on this. Armor piercing does more damage to them if it penetrates the high explosive. However, when you've got quite low caliber guns, such as the 127s on the Eerie, if for example I was to fire armor piercing that South Carolina battleship over there, it probably would do no damage whatsoever. So generally, if you use a tier 1 and a tier 2 ship, just leave it as high explosives. You will always do some damage. There is always a chance that you'll knock out turrets, damage the steering chain, chain the engine, things like that. Penetration. Long range. Sometimes. Little firing is better because of the time. He's gone. So now we've got a system killing this chest of classic. He's taking it and he's gone. Oh, every little helps. 
especially when you get a shot. Damage. Damage. He's on fire. He's going down. Enemy cruiser, Enemy cruiser sunk. And now we've got a destroyer here. The destroyers are nasty because they can fire to vehicles. To vehicles are very nasty. You can avoid them if they hit. Very nearly ran into a friendly torpedo. Okay, yeah, they were trying to get the kill, but they probably shouldn't have fired off torpedoes when you could see I was that close to the enemy ship anyway. And now we've just got one cruiser to go. Unfortunately, it is the tier 3 St. Louis. It is over there. He has lots and lots of nasty guns, and I don't have very much health left. So let's try and get around here. Hope those torpedoes might hit. We've got this. There's only one of them left. Our score is 712 to 164. We control all three caps. We've got this. There's no way he is going to win. Not with the amount of ships we've got left. We've only lost two ships. It's just, just in case we try to get right here. It's a little bit more damage here. I don't think we're going to get around here to do any damage because the skills don't be too hit. Maybe not. It's a fierce good region. Our victory is in sight. Well, the Lotus appears to be taking more damage than the attacking us. Ah, there we go, the chest is coming into health as well. We're not going to get around here in time. Yeah, there we go. And that's the game. That's co-op mode. Working against bots. But as you can see, they're not massively easy to defeat. Now we did pretty well there. 59 hits, 5 criticals. Killed 2 enemy, sank 2 enemy ships. Defended the base 6 times and assisted them with the capture of 2. We have a look. I actually got the most experience of the team. And that's the damage. I did 25,000 damage. Two enemy ships. I suffered just under 9,000 in return. And most of that was from the torpedo hits. And credits wise, okay, it's only a tier 1, so you don't get a huge amount, but repairs are free, ammunition's free, 23,000 credits profit. Standard. So, yeah, that's not too bad. And 629 experience at tier 1, that's enough to unlock all the modules. Because you've only got a couple more just to unlock. And they really, they don't cost that much at all in this tier. But then, we've got random battles. And random battles are a little bit different. Random battles, you're against people. And people, almost all the time, are significantly better than bots. Unlike World of Tanks, where you get people who decide to be bots and sit around doing nothing. Once again, not a huge amount of people online, certainly not at low tiers, so I will come back just as we get into the match. So here we are three and a half minutes later. We've got domination again. Again on islands, so there'll be capture points on there. First team to get to a thousand points. This time we're all against tier ones and tier twos, which is quite nice, but they are players. As I said before, players are generally better than players. You also notice that the match is more full. There are a lot more ships in the rather than a launch. So here we go. As a multi tank, she general controls more ships as W and S control forwards and backwards, but you don't have to hold it. As you'll notice down here, I've set my throttle full. 
I'm just going to keep you, you know, for as fast as I possibly can to the change it. D and A, swing your rudder. You do have to wait a few minutes. There is a time it takes for me to go from full left to full right. The shift time it varies depending on the ship. If you use the Q and the E buttons, you can lock them towards a certain position. Aim in, you press shift, and if you scroll your mouse button on, it gives you a semi artillery view. It shows you exactly where you're aiming, and if you press control, it shows you the distance to the point you're aiming at, and how long it's going to take your shots to get there. Yes, we'll 
That wasn't a very good game, but if you look at it, we've still got 370 experience, uh, 60 experience. You get more experience in a random battle than you do in a co-op battle. Dealt 6,000 damage, took, well, took 9,900, 13,000 credits, so just give you a quick rundown of what you can and what you definitely can't do in the Tier 1 American ship, the Eerie. So just from those two matches, you would quite easily research your way up to either the Chester a Tier 2 cruiser or the Samson Destroyer, which is where you start getting torpedoes. I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please consider giving the video a like down below. I apologise for the sound went to there, it's a glitch. Um, yeah, please give us a like down below. Maybe subscribe. More content will be coming very, very shortly. We will be looking next at the Chester Class Tier 2 American Cruiser coming soon. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.